it's me. And today we're gonna find out how things are made. This is how they frost a bunch of donuts at once. They put it in this little donut cage prison, dip it into the chocolate, and then dip it out. You know, I used to think they did this by hand. Like every single donut gets dipped individually into the chocolate. They do a bunch of them at once. The long donuts too. Oh, those look delicious. Oh, I know a maple bar when I see one. Those are my favorite donuts. Wait a second, there was a device to peel watermelon? I've seen one of these that you can buy for like an apple, but this thing can peel a whole watermelon and then spits out a naked melon like it's trash. And then that's when they get a human worker to just chop it up. Put it in a little Whole Foods container and sell it for 10 times the price. Oh, this is how they make ice cream sandwiches. Wow, okay, this is magical. That's very satisfying. It's like cookie cookie, and then pretend my head is the ice cream. It's doing a great job. Just everybody gets the perfect square of ice cream. I feel like I'm at Disney. What a delicious looking cake. It'd be a shame if somebody smeared all the cream off. It was fake. You see people get caked all the time. Half the time is not even edible, it's shaving cream. Reason 346, why I love filmmaking. That's not a real burger. All of that, it's fake. I was like, there's no way. All of that food looks a little too perfect. Like the cheese on the burger perfectly melted, but they're made of foam. It's like a burger stress ball. You know, just squeeze the burger at any minor inconvenience. That's actually so cool. I wanna know what the fries are made of. Do they got the same smush factor? Never seen a fry stress stick. You know these extravagant wedding cakes that are like three stories high? So I thought this was like an insanely expensive cake and every layer is a different flavor. Like these cakes can cost thousands of dollars. But what if you want this cake but don't want to pay thousands of dollars? How about a hundred dollars? Well, they actually make it out of foam. So they just put cake in this one section. So when the bride and groom are like cutting the cake for a photo, it's actually made of cake. But the rest of it is foam. And then they just like spray paint it, put some roses all around that make it look pretty. Like nobody's eating out of this one. Get some Walmart sheet cake from the back. You know, this one's just for the photos. Okay, I have a question. When the cake is all nice and done up, like how will you know which side is cake? What if you accidentally cut into the styrofoam? Like, oh no, try this side. Oh no, it's still styrofoam. And just keep poking around until you find a squishy spot. In commercials or videos when they have a cup of coffee and want it to look foamy for hours on set, you can take the soap from a sponge and then just put it into the coffee so it looks foamy for hours. Just don't accidentally drink it. Mm, nothing like some Dawn flavored cold foam if you accidentally take a sip. What is that, butter? It just came out of that machine. Perfectly slice it with a wire, put it into a mold. It's a little too yellow to be butter. You know when your butter been sitting in the fridge for a little too long? Start looking radioactive. Oh, it's soap. Wow. I had no idea they did it like this. And I kind of like the long square soap. I know, they just like cut it, put it into a mold. And they're just like, the perfect mold. And then you get rid of the edges. Throw it in the old soap basket. I've seen a lot of soap making videos, but I've never seen it done this way. Because there are many ways to make soap. Y'all hear that crunch? This has gotta be the most gorgeous cheesy bread I have ever laid my eyes upon. Take some garlic, put some oil on it, wrap it up in foil, put it in the oven, and then you could just squeeze out the head of garlic and it just comes out like some easy squeeze cheese. Put it with some butter, pepper flakes. Oh, that is some good looking bread, definitely not gluten free. The honey on the cheesy bread, that'll do it. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. All oh, the things I would do for a bite. I included this video for me, just to remind me I gotta make this one day. It's time to harvest. Harvest what, the ice? Is this how they make igloos? Oh, it's over a lake. You can literally cut chunks of ice out of the lake and then you put them in a storage container. What is the reason? For when the ice melts? Y'all got year round ice? What are you saving the ice for? Is this like a DIY freezer? I thought they were gonna make like an igloo out of it. You know, I never thought you can just like cut chunks of ice out of the lake. <laughs> I think you can get at least seven ice cubes out of one of those. That's a lot of ice. That's what it looks like when you put things in the inventory in real life. This is how they tenderize meat. I don't like this. So when you buy a big old steak, they tenderize it by having all these rods go through it. So are they just like injecting it with water? You know, I wonder if they're doing this to make the meat look more plump. A thicker piece of meat is gonna sell for more. I smell a scam. It's like buying a bag of potato chips and getting 50% air. Now we buying steak with 50% water? This don't sit right with me. 
How do they process pineapple? Oh no, all of their hats have been chopped off. It's like the first step, remove the hat. And then they go into a grinder. Oh, okay, we're making pineapple juice. It's like a pineapple massacre. That was really aggressive. You know, don't forget to show the part where you water it down and add the preservatives. Guess they forgot to put that part in. You know, if only the pineapple juice that you buy in the store was just straight up pineapple. See, this is what I'm talking about. These little spinny things that peel the apples. I didn't know there was one for watermelon too. Okay, and then what? It just spins it off, peels the apple. Let me guess, it gets thrown into an incinerator and then squeezed to death to make some delicious apple juice. Eh, worth it. You know those cakes that you buy at Walmart, Costco? I thought somebody baked those by hand with love. No, they are mass produced. A machine be frosting them and everything. That's how they look so perfect. Oh, wow. It was that fast. Yeah, that's way faster than a human could have done it. And then the whipped cream does all of it at once. Oh, but that is some thick cream. You know, even the designs on the cake. A machine does it. The strawberry sauce on the cheesecake. You know, that was not hand spread. It was machine made. Why does this feel like a lie? Okay, at least you're not gonna find somebody's hair in there. Oh, this is one of the most satisfying things I have seen on the internet. Just the way that they make Neapolitan ice cream. There is a man manually boxing each one of these. Yeah, you, know, you gotta be fast, otherwise somebody's gonna get some long ice cream. You know, my intrusive thoughts could never. I would just keep letting it go. I wanna see how long it can get. You know the sandwiches that you get at the airport that are perfectly sliced into triangles? It's this machine doing it. I didn't know there was a machine for this. There really is a machine for everything. You told me a nice lady in the back wasn't hand cutting and packaging these up? No, it was this guy. All right, it's kind of satisfying though. Pancakes? Oh, it's like the perfect pancake every time. Whoa. And then they fill it with strawberry sauce and then put another one on top of it. Okay, I bet these would slap like straight out of manufacturing while they still warm and fresh. But I know they're just gonna like package these and like freeze them in the freezer and then you're not gonna eat them until like six months later. But it's pretty cool how they do it though. And when there's like a filling inside, two pancakes sandwiched together. You know, I always thought it was like a donut. They like make a hole and then just like pump it full of cream. How bunions are made? You know, this is the real question. You know, technically, they're a potato chip. No, they're actually onion flavored rings. Sorry. So they don't have potato in them. So what are they made of? Stop using them as glasses and tell me how they're made. Is this guy a surgeon? Or does he make funyuns for a living? He's the funyun doctor. So they're made of cornmeal. That means they're gluten free. Unlike Pringles. So they take cornmeal and water. Let me guess, then it gets seasoned with onion salt. Oh, those look delicious. I love funyuns. Every time I go on a road trip, gotta get a bag of funyuns. I feel like that's the only time I really snack is in the car on a road trip. So then they get fried. Wait, wait, wait. I, I feel like they skipped so much. How did they turn into a ring? These companies never want to show me the secret to their snacks. They just said they were fried in oil. But how to get that shape? Is it that much of a secret? I feel like I just watched some Funyuns dance in a factory. Oh, and then they roll them through the seasoning salt. Ah, oh, that's the good stuff. I want a whole bottle of that. And then they get sorted and then put them into the bags. You know, they look so good when they're straight out the factory. Not a single broken piece. Y'all ever wondered how they make these little miniature things? In this case, a miniature spray paint can. So you can actually make them with things that you already have in your house. Like take a hot glue gun stick, pop it in a pencil sharpener until the top is nice and round. Don't sharpen it too much, then it will be pointy. And spray it with some spray paint, print out a little paint label, glue it on, take some wire, roll it up, make it at the bottom of the can. Oh, it's already looking like a can. I can't believe it's that easy. Amputate the head of a Q-tip and then put the stem as a little sprayer. That's actually so creative. And then wham bam, you got a little paint can, ma'am. Now your Barbie can go graffiti some tunnels on a freeway. Y'all ever wondered how they make pills? Because they don't come in pill form, straight from a factory. There is a pharmacy tech putting them together. So there is this pill making device. You take the powder that's in the pills and you distribute it evenly within all of the holes. This feels illegal to watch. Like I'm witnessing some drug making. <laughs> okay, this looks really fun. And what do you do with the excess? And then you put the capsule on top of it and then pop them together. It's kind of like a little puzzle. And then when they're done, you take this thing, flip it over and you have pills. You know, why are the capsules green? I thought the powder was supposed to be green. We looking like little Tic Tacs. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Ow! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.